alright, on your U660s, they have the pressure switches. There's two different ones. Uh, I think it was up to 2011, they had the three pressure switches. And then in 2012, I believe it was, they went to a single pressure switch. They got rid of these two, it'd just be empty here. And where they feed through right here, I think that's where they feed, no, right here. Where they feed through right here, needs to be blocked off and just have a single hole. Now, what I found out is that you, the valve body is the same. This plate, this pressure switch assembly, and the wiring harness is where the difference is. Um, if you have a three switch, like they sent me a uh, three switch remand unit. And uh, that's what I ended up going with. I had the original valve body that I put the uh, Sonax kit in. It did not work. Uh, I put the um, zip kit in it. And it still had harsh engagements and flared shifts and banging shifts and banging uh, binding on the down shifts. Uh, so I've got a used valve body that I had laying around here. I swapped the kit over to it, but it was a three switch. And I called to find out if you could uh, use the valve body or not. They just weren't sure. They said give it a shot and see what happens. Um, they did say enough that you got to keep the wiring harness with it. Which I'm not, I'm not sure that's a total 100% right there, but this is what I can tell you. The valve body is the same. I swapped the plate over with the single because that's what my computer is, has got. I have a feeling I could have just left it with a three switch and the harness for the three switch or even with the single switch. I don't think it would have mattered. I just swapped it over to the single one. Now you can't go the other direction obviously because then you're going to be throwing pressure switch codes. But um, if you needed to use a three switch, put a single switch on, just change the plate, your pressure switch assembly. I have a feeling I could have gone with uh, this harness, even though it's got two extra pins, I just don't think they would have mattered. There's these two wires right here, this gray and this white one, that is missing off of the other one. That's a single. So just a uh, heads up, if you need to swap that out, it should work, mine worked. I ended up, the uh, used valve body I had did not work either. It uh, got rid of the harsh engagements, but it still had the flaring shifts and the banging in the gear, or, or not, yeah, banging in the gear and the bind on the downshift. So I got a remand unit and it was a three switch also so I just swapped it over to the single and used my original harness on it and it worked just fine everything's working perfect got rid of all the flare shifts, bind shifts banging shifts engagements are fine uh, it also had a shutter got rid of the shutter um, I'm sure the shutter fix helped some I have run into quite a few of these um, 760s that uh, have shutter on a torque converter and uh, putting a bottle of shutter fix in it usually fixes it right up. But uh, that's just a heads up for you on the as far as the pressure switches go. Uh, you can go and put a three or you put a single on the three I think you can even put the three on the, the single one. It should work just fine. You just make sure that you use your harness so you got the extra wires in it and use your plate. Keep it all together. <laughs>